So it's just about um, the start of summer here in the Riverland and today is going to be 44 I think they said. So I've got these um, swarms, well they were swarms now they're in these boxes over here that are sitting out in the open and I thought I might just um, put some pallets with some shade cloth on top. I bought this, I've got some rack mesh under here. If you don't know what rack mesh is, that's what we used to dry the sultanas on back in the day. And so I wasn't really sure why I've kept this crap, but now I'm going to have a use for it. The pallets that we're using are just, they're some fairly lightweight packing pallets that really aren't much chopped for anything else. So I thought that would be a good place to start. And hopefully it'll keep the girls a bit cooler on this crazy hot weather that's coming. This one's facing the wrong way around because I've um, took a split off over there. So I'm just going to turn her back around, but I just know she's pretty jolly heavy. So maybe the girls have gone and found some honey. So we'll find out together. Holy shit. We might go and put the smoker on, I think. I don't want to get too much excitement. I'll put my gloves back on. <laughs> Someone was telling me that they had um, like a hive in the middle of a bushfire, or a few hives. And the ones, like they had them sort of like this, but in another couple of layers. And the ones in the middle managed not to get burnt because they were all in there fanning and flapping and, and pushed the fire out. How bloody cool is that? Whether they were full of crap, maybe there's a wind, had a wind change, but anyway. <laughs> but I thought that was a pretty cool thing. Look at that, see they are all downstairs. See how when we first opened that, they were all up the top here? Yeah, they've buggered off a bit because you give them a bit of smoke and they go, Oh no! Go protect the queen! They have been busy. That's why I haven't moved them because they've done well here. You know what? We didn't bring enough jolly. Um, <laughs> I've only brought one box because this wasn't actually the project today. See him having a little drink of the honey so you can get ready because they they think there's a fire coming so they come in they they either fan to protect the hive and the brood and the queen or they fill up their tummies full of honey like this girl here is doing so if they have to run off and escape the hive they've got a guts full of food these are just some stickies that I had I wasn't gonna get any honey today we weren't it wasn't part of the program but the damn the damn thing's so heavy I can't turn it around, so I'm guessing we'll just have to borrow a bit of honey. And you know what that does? That creates another job when we get home, when it's 44 degrees. Oh. <laughs> I don't think they're impressed with us. All this hard work they've been at. But if you don't take some honey off them, then they freak out anyway. They wanted to have something to do. It's a bit like us. We all want a job to do. Jolly close. The so next, so in another few days, we'll be back here getting all this lot. Uh, we got two that were good. Well, you, must have, you must have just found some. Maybe because that's about a week ago. We had a beautiful big rain here. Well, a couple of weeks ago. So maybe they've found some nice little... Um, like they've had another flush on a little native vegetation found a bit more nectar to run with because that's only just filled up the last couple of like since that rain which has been this last week anyway the what I was going to do I was going to turn this one around because like I said earlier I had this one turned around because I um, took a split off of it and I was just doing the old-fashioned idea and I put the cardboard in the middle and made a queen at the top and then I got this crazy lid that I made up with it so they got a top entrance and a bottom entrance and then they made a new box and she's over there. So we'll have a look at that in a minute, see how she's getting on. But anyway, so now it's still damn heavy because all that honey's not quite ready, but we'll turn her around anyway. Yeah. Now, of course, there'll be mass confusion now that all the field bees will come back and they'll go, shit, I could have sworn a door was there. What the hell? <laughs> But then I've got the back here, so they'll, they'll, all the field bees will come back here. They'll land on the back of the box looking for the entrance and then they'll probably run up and they'll get into here and eventually they'll figure out that some stupid human had come and wrecked their life and they'll go back to their proper activity. 
Uh oh, that's what happens when you don't have your jolly lid thing on. Oh, a bit more Viking honey, but we didn't even remember a pot to put it in. Yeah, look at that. How beautiful is that? They're doing a good job. This is what you get when you forget to put your queen excluders in. See, they're up, this is up in the super where the honey is. And you see they've, they've decided that they're going to breed in here, so they haven't put any honey there, but the queen started to lay eggs in the middle. This is the new brood coming. That'll be all right, because we might split this off as well, like I did with that one, and get another hive. But it's not ideal. You see here, these little bit of brood that they've even laid in the roof. Larvae getting grown here. So they've made a brood chamber here, and there, and there. And that's the other scary part about this, is this queen's doing a rocking job, but she could be up here in this lid since I didn't have a queen excluder, and then that's gonna be crap. So that's another good reason to put them in. So live and learn on this journey. Here we go. This is gonna be a bit of a shade. Oh, I don't know how this will go, mate, but here, what's the worst thing that can happen? It's gotta give them a bit of protection, surely, from the sun. sit it on top of there and then I'm just going to staple it to the pallet when I come here to work the hives again I can just take these pallets off the top easy enough because they don't weigh much and um, hopefully that'll give them a bit of shade and we'll see these little these are all in these little squares because I got them at a sale from a bloke who's a sultana, well was a sultana grower and they used to lay them out like that in the sun and put the sultanas on there so then they can roll them up. Anyway I thought well shit that'll be ideal, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with them because I actually bought it, I bought a roll of this stuff and these all came with it and they've been sitting in my shed for the last 10 years I reckon so I thought well hell you'll find a use for it. Oh, so I've been watching my brother beekeepers over in America and Canada and, and Europe and their biggest drama of course is when it's freezing friggin cold and they've got blankets and they've got some special cool thermal thing and there was one bloke there trying to put them in cold room panels of course here in Oz our biggest drama is it's friggin hot so I guess it's the same thing but in reverse so I'm just trying to give the girls a fighting chance to get through the heat because it's going to be screaming hot soon and this is my lame ass attempt but as you would know if you've been watching along with us we're into experimenting <laughs> Anyway, here we go. That's a bit of a rough bit of um, protection for the ladies. I don't know how that'll go, but it's got to be better than nothing, doesn't it? Um, of course, my nana would have said, waste not, want not. So the fact that I didn't throw this crappy old rack mesh out and it's come to use is good. Well, hopefully it helps them get a bit more honey flow out of it. I would, I mean, other hives are actually in the bit, a bit of tree shade, but these girls are getting such a good honey here from these little native bushes. They didn't want to move them, so anyway, we'll see. Stay, stay tuned. <laughs>